Okay, here's my next boiler. Pop-off valve might go off here any second, so if I jump, don't be surprised. It's at 110 now. Look at that gauge, that's something else. Here's a new base underneath this one with a draft door and firebox inside of it. A lot of... A lot of upgrades to this one. 20 inch diameter boiler, 42 tall, so it's taller than any other I've ever built. The uh, top of the stack is about 80 inches. Really nice whistle on it. Blow it here. Engine out right here. We're running an engine off of half inch pipe. Drain and fill is right here. Water pump's right here. Here it goes again. It's getting ready to blow. Really nice gauge though. Look at that. Beautiful. And I've built the uh, firebox door deeper. It was two inches on all my others. Now it's four inches. And, of course, it's got a blower ring in it. It creates a lot of draft when you need it. Well, that's working really good. Pump's working good. Airlock is right here. Just open that up. Once you've got water going out of there, just close it off. If you've got an airlock in the pump, that is. And it's just, uh, everything now is going into the boiler. Looks great. Water sight glass. Always keep that about half full. Tricox. The base on it is 24 square. And the pop-off set it up to go off 100 pounds. And you can kind of see it right there. Press set 100. So it's been going off here. Really nice boiler. Eight inch stack, 24 tall on just the stack. It's got uh, 22 inch and a half copper tubes rolled in. And the boiler's all 3 8 plate. And that's about it.